The BBC released an educational documentary about Roman Britain, depicting what they said was, quote, an exploration of life in Roman Britain shown through the eyes of a typical family. This is how they chose to depict a typical family in Roman Britain over 1500 years ago. Yeah. Really. I tweeted about it saying it was historically inaccurate to depict Roman Britain as ethnically diverse. Making the point that this was obviously the BBC engaging in politically correct tokenism. And that this wasn't what a typical family in Roman Britain would have looked like. Oh, and the butthurt was immense. Verified libtards from every corner of Twitter exploded with rage. Including JK Rowling who still hasn't got back to me on why she virtue signals all day about refugees, yet still hasn't taken in any refugees despite owning multiple mansions and having umpteen empty spare bedrooms. She then retweeted this tweet storm from a self-proclaimed historian <coughs> supply teacher, let's call him Mr. Potato Head, who proceeded to school me on how Roman Britain really was ethnically diverse. Except he didn't school me on anything, he schooled himself. On being a retard, what was Mr. Potato Head's evidence that Roman Britain was ethnically diverse? Well, first that I'm a fascist, which, last time I checked, isn't an argument. Second, that provincial governors in Roman Britain had black slaves. And third, that they found the skeleton of a North African woman who lived in Roman London. And that's it. So Mr. Potato Head schooling me consisted of him proving there were a smattering of non-white people living in Roman Britain, which is... Not the same thing as proving that Roman Britain was ethnically diverse. It wasn't. And this isn't a typical depiction of a family in Roman Britain. There is some evidence of migration to Roman Britain from other parts of the empire, but there is considerable evidence to suggest that the population of Roman Britain remained overwhelmingly indigenous. Including the army's dependents, there were probably 125,000 migrants in the British Isles out of a population of 4 million, which is about 3%. It would be as ludicrous as going to a country that's 97% black and then claiming that this is an accurate representation of a typical family living in that country. A small amount of non-white people living in a country doesn't make it ethnically diverse. That's clearly an outlier, not a reflection of widespread ethnic diversity. That's like saying Japan is ethnically diverse because 1.5% of people living in Japan aren't ethnically Japanese. Japan is 98.5% Japanese. That's not ethnically diverse. When I asked Mr. Potato Head directly what percentage of Roman Britons were non-white, he admitted there was no way of knowing, but that Roman Britain definitely wasn't homogenous. Except, I never said it was homogenous. I also never said it was monoracial. Yeah, little tip for you, Mr. Potato Head. If you school me on an argument that I never made, that's not schooling me. That's called a straw man and a complete misrepresentation of my argument. You called me a retard, yet you can't read. Who's the retard? No one is denying that there were a small amount of non-white people in Roman Britain. That's not the argument. The fact that there were a smattering of non-white people in Roman Britain doesn't mean that Roman Britain was ethnically diverse by today's standards, to the point where a typical family in Roman Britain would be depicted as black. Let's look at some other depictions of Roman Britain. So given that this is how the BBC thinks Roman Britain should accurately be depicted, what kind of racist would depict Roman Britain like this? No black people in that image. Oh look, it's the BBC! This is how the BBC chose to depict Roman Britain back in 2003. Back then, everyone in the BBC's depiction of Roman Britain was white. Right, so what's changed between 2003 and 2017? Did we suddenly reverse 2,000 years of knowledge and figure out that Roman Britain was in fact ethnically diverse? Or did the BBC, which is so politically correct when it comes to race, that it literally banned white people from applying for jobs. During that time period, become obsessed with political correctness and racial tokenism. Which is the more likely scenario? Hmm, I wonder. Here's another depiction of Roman Britain. Queen Boudicca leading a rebellion against the Romans. Yeah, a lot of honkies in that painting. Here's another depiction of Roman Britain, a famous painting called Britain's Deploring Departure of the Last Roman Legion. Yeah, I don't see many black people. Here's the Natural History Museum's illustration of daily life in Roman London. 
you'll notice a distinct lack of melanin. Here's another famous painting of a family of ancient Britons in Roman Britain. Yeah, a lot of whiteys there. Here's another. Is this a more accurate depiction of a typical family in Roman Britain, or is this? So either Roman Britain wasn't ethnically diverse by today's standards, and all these depictions of Roman Britain stretching back hundreds of years are consistently accurate in depicting that, or every single one of these depictions is wrong, and this one BBC depiction from 2017 is accurate. Which is the more likely scenario? To portray a typical family, again, their words, not mine, in Roman Britain as black, is not typical. It would be incredibly rare. Which is why virtually every other depiction of Roman Britain doesn't do this. The BBC did it for politically correct tokenism at the expense of historical accuracy. That's the argument I made, and it's patently true. This is an ethnically diverse Britain. This isn't. Roman Britain clearly wasn't ethnically diverse by today's standards. Here's the BBC's next educational cartoon, an insight into how British women lived during the Victorian era. Historians say it's stunningly accurate. Tomorrow on BBC One, we look at how Vikings invaded and occupied England from the 8th century onwards. Stunningly accurate. Oh yeah, and just like flies around shit, the usual gaggle of UK leftist hipster twats descended on this. Mashable, the independent, who by the way, write endless hit pieces on me while begging for an interview. And Elle magazine. This history buff's takedown of a political correctness gone mad tweet is everything we needed today. A black James Bond, that's political correctness gone mad. A cartoon Rastafarian mouse, that's political correctness gone mad. Yeah, can you enlighten me please, Elle magazine, on how people getting mad over fictional TV and movie characters, which I said nothing about, has anything to do with a debate about historical accuracy. Oh, but Mr. Potato Head owned me. How are you gonna own me when you can't even own the fact that your hairline has itself receded back to Roman times? <laughs> Just shave it off. Yeah, and wearing cats on your head isn't a long-term solution. PJW got triggered, look how triggered he is. I'm triggered. Yeah, this guy's so PC obsessed, he gets triggered by images of Templar Knights. He posted a long diatribe shitting his pants about me making this video. So you attack me publicly, get all your verified libtard friends to pile in, and then when I dare to respond, you go cry in a corner. <laughs> they love to dish it out, don't they? Not so good at taking it back, though. I mean, do I even need to roast this guy, considering he got roasted by his own politically correct obsessed fan base for using an offensive word and had to apologise for it? This is a guy who was in the news for trying to ban the word banter in school classrooms because someone's feelings might get hurt. Banter is another word for fun. And now it all starts to make sense. Mr. Potato Head is a hysterical leftist blob obsessed with political correctness who got triggered by me pointing out reality. I'm triggered. The reality that the BBC depicting black people as a typical family in Roman Britain was clearly a clumsy attempt to inject politically correct propaganda into a cartoon aimed at children. It wasn't historically accurate. By today's standards, Roman Britain wasn't ethnically diverse. You didn't school me on anything. You didn't even address my argument. You're a self-proclaimed historian who's literally trying to rewrite history to fit your political agenda. The lie that Britain has always been ethnically diverse. It hasn't. You're trying to push the myth that mass uncontrolled immigration is natural because it's always been that way. Immigration into Britain was minimal until the 20th century, and no amount of PC pandering BBC cartoons for kids are ever going to change that historical fact. Mr. Potato Head, you tried to take on the king of the roast, and look what happened. You got roasted. What could be more triggering to libtards than my face and this slogan? Get your new premium quality, conservatism is the new counterculture t-shirt right now at InfoWarsStore.com and let the butt hurt commence.